Hello, and welcome to the fourth build vlog for Nova. Today, I look exhausted because I am. I was waiting for these parts all weekend and they didn't come, so now I'm going to have to rush and do this, but I've got to put the GPU underwater. So, I don't have the energy to talk too much, so I'm just gonna start montaging.
shell leak. Liquid is flowing. I don't think it's leaking. I think the loop is dirty, but that's going to happen. My most elaborate loop is done. I am quite proud. Now, as promised, I'm going to clean the kitchen and water the sides. First, I need an energy drink. Where did I set them down? After all that work, draining the system, making it all RGB and stuff, I miss the green. I miss like the, the bioluminescent green a lot to the point that I've been running it in just this green flashiness, but the green and purple really did look really good. So good thing is adding color is a lot easier than removing it. So, yeah, this is frustrating. Nova had a catastrophic failure. Um, the spot I was worried about ended up actually failing. And I killed the Vega 64 entirely. Um, I'm in the process of redoing the entire loop. Um, this is uh, I'm gonna finish this I'm gonna let you guys see it I think I'm gonna stick to the original design of Nova which was actually not to have a GPU on the loop but yeah this is gonna this is gonna be a long night so moment of truth 
um, after I had reconfigured the loop into that configuration, which is very similar to how it used to be, the loop exploded and I had to wait until today, the next day, for everything to be fully dried off. Uh, and this is the moment of truth to make sure that I didn't kill my motherboard too. Uh, okay, things turned on. I'm just gonna... I mean, it still looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, I would help with the display wrong. It works. Oh my God. Thank God. She works. Ugh. All right, now to power her down. All right, so uh, it works, but it's really loud right now, and I don't remember Nova being that loud on one radiator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make the cooling system overkill, and we're gonna do both radiators again. I'm just gonna have to reconfigure this loop, but it works. Uh, this time it didn't leak when I emptied it, so that's good. Uh, but whew, I haven't eaten. I really need to get some food. Yeah, let me let 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 me get some food and then I will reapproach this insanity. Well, there you have it. What did I learn? What did I learn in all of this? Well, honestly, nothing. Because uh, Nova's gonna be fully underwater still. Um, after that entire weekend, I actually had a moment where I collected myself. I had actually become afraid to liquid cool my PC. And I even considered switching entirely to air but that's not happening. No, I, I honestly, I love the look, the style of this computer so much that I am more than willing to risk it. The thing is though, I need to build a redundancy. I need to build a redundancy PC and I've already got at least a motherboard that will work for it. 
And at some point I can get the GPU out of this one, which means I just need a processor, RAM, power supply, and hard drive in case, which isn't actually that much in the grand scheme of things. So I'm probably gonna end up building that redundancy PC soon. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna probably end up building it soon. Uh, I, I think I can announce that. We're gonna call that one Comet. Uh, I like the Celestial Bodies theme that we're going with these uh, computers. So um, the redundancy PC, the name of that one is Comet and uh, it's gonna be a pretty much mirrored system to Nova. Uh, just the difference is gonna be it's all on air. That way, when I hit Nova again with a full loop, I will have a backup. I will essentially, if I somehow screw up even worse than I did this time, I will be able to uh, fix it. That all being said, this was fun. I, I, <laughs> I know it's weird to say, because there was a moment of sheer despair in this video in, in that week, that weekend. And yet, when I think about the challenge of open loop liquid cooling, it still excites me. And yeah, I'm disappointed that I killed the graphics card. Uh, it, that happened, but I got a good deal on it to begin with. Um, and realistically, if I could get a hold of another Vega 64, that would be the cheapest solution. But right now, I think we're about to get hit by the RX 5800 and 5800 XT. And that would be a true upgrade for me personally. And if it hits around $600, $700 for the upgrade, I probably will be okay with it. Uh, especially because my idea for Nova is to be the balls to the wall system. Um, and Comet will be sort of the backup. Um, essentially, yeah. <laughs> this video is hard to end because a lot happened and a lot happened over a large amount of time. The loop was actually working for a very long time until I decided to swap out the 90s for different 90s. The problem with those other 90s is they actually maintained more pressure than the previous 90s and it actually was causing some small issues that I hadn't seen before. Uh, mainly that I really needed everything to be extremely flush. Uh, in order for the seals to work properly. Um, so I ended up buying new sandpaper to flatten it out more. And I found a tool that I saw on a Jay's Two Cents video on Amazon, that I'm probably gonna buy, I'm gonna, before I redo the loop. Um, that, Nova is gonna be an interesting PC coming up. Um, previously, I thought this was going to be the second to last episode and the last episode was going to be the case mod. But due to losing the GPU underwater, which was originally what this whole episode was about, um, I ended up, I think this is actually really the third episode. It was originally supposed to be the fourth, but because of everything that happened, I needed to change the structure of it, which is why I say it's the fourth in the beginning, but I'm pretty sure it's still just the third. Essentially, I'm going to be revisiting this computer two more times. Once is actually going to be a case mod that I'll pop it up on screen. It's very spacey. I really like what's happening here. I don't know, there's like the section down at the bottom. I kind of want to make that a clear reservoir type situation, but not actually flowing through the actual uh, loop because going out of the case would be a problem. But essentially just with more of the green fluid in it so that it like it ties the whole front panel together. And then the actual construction of this is gonna be insanely awesome. But we also need to fix the water block in here. Uh, the LEDs weren't waterproof, uh, EK. It's kind of a dumb design. Um, you, you're building water cooling products, you should probably have waterproof LEDs. But um, I'm ordering 
a shit ton of LEDs from uh, China uh, probably this week <laughs> so that I can actually do that project. Um, it's gonna take like a month for it to get here, but it, it, there's just so much to do now. So much to, uh. Either way, Nova part three is done. And it wasn't exactly a high note, but I am sure we're gonna end this project strong. Thank you guys for watching. Wolfie, out.